Welcome to Integrated Circuit Technology Lab. Today we will be discussing diffusion process and IC fabrication using the tools available at nanohub.org. We will be observing both the process of diffusion, constant and limited source and dependence of diffusion process on temperature, time and type of dope. So once you are on the nanohub.org page, click on resources and then select tools. Once you have selected tools, you will be redirected to a new page. On this page, in the second column, select a TCAD lab. Now, click on launch tool. You will be redirected to a TCAD lab window. If I zoom in, you can see a drop down menu here. Select process lab, concentration dependent diffusion in TCAD lab. This is the GUI for process lab concentration dependent Diffusion. Start with constant or infinite source diffusion. The parameters will be as follows. First, in source is going to be infinite. Time enter it as 180 minutes. Temperature 1000 degree Celsius. Bulk length selected to be 0.8 micrometers. Concentration dependence select no dependence. Select dopant as phosphorus in this case. And initial dopant concentration as 1 into 10 raised to 20 per centimeter square. Let's start with observing the effect on, on diffusion due to change in time. Uh, vary the time from 60 minutes to 120 minutes and then 180 minutes. You will observe that the concentration remains n at x equals to 0. Next, let's vary temperature from 900 degree Celsius to 1000 degree Celsius and then 1100 degree Celsius and observe the effect on diffusion. These are the parameters to be considered for delta or limited source diffusion. Let's also observe the effect of time variation on delta or limited source diffusion. Vary the time from 60 minutes to 120 minutes and then 180 minutes and observe the effect on diffusion. Next, let's vary temperature from 900 degree Celsius to 1000 degree Celsius and then 1100 degree Celsius and observe the effect on diffusion. You can also change the uh, type of dopant as you can see there is a drop down menu just next to the type of dopant you can select any of the dopants that are provided here to observe the effect of diffusion of these dopants inside the silicon wafer. This is how diffusion process can be easily understood using the diffusion tool available at nanohub.org. Thank you.